offensive rebound uh, was needed, and I thought he did a really good job uh, this evening. Tim, six row. Tim Cato, the athletic. Uh, Jason, with with you guys playing like this, is there, um, you know, is is your view of it that this version of, of this team could have come sooner? And what emotions accompany that? Is is it frustration? Is it does it just have to be, you know, kind of a, a looking forward and, and an ability to continue this? Who say that again? I, that was a long ass question. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, you, you guys, you guys played better tonight. Yes. You guys, you guys played much better in a lot of areas tonight. Um, why weren't you able to do it sooner? And, and how do you continue this? Yeah, I, you know, it's um, we had to play our A game. Uh, it's you know, it, it was this or we go on vacation. So um, I thought the group did a, a great job of not pressing, uh, letting the game happen. Uh, the flow was there. Um, we've done this in the first three games. It's just. We haven't been able to capitalize. Uh, we've made the mistakes, and they've capitalized on that. Um, they shot the three well. We tried to keep them off the free throw line tonight um, and not giving them second opportunities. So I thought they did a really good job of, of being able to execute the game plan um, and let the game come to us. We made some shots. Finally, you know, our role players stepped up and made some threes, and that's what we needed tonight. Mike Curtis, Dallas Morning News. Jason, um, Luca responded obviously tonight with 29 points. 25 of those came in the first half. Just what did you see from him and his temperament throughout the game and how he was able to get to the rim? Yeah, I thought he was great. Uh, he's been great. Um, some some would say differently, but he's averaging over 25 in, in this series, I think, and he's playing at a very high level. Um, I don't know um, so much respond. Um, He's been doing everything for us on the offensive end and defensive end, and I thought he, he played his game tonight. He didn't force anything. Um, I thought his rebounding and being able to let other guys, uh, you know, with the pace, we talked about it, we got to play faster, and I thought he set the pace for us tonight. Let's go, Jake. Jake, Jake Fisher, Yahoo Sports. The two big lineup with Derek and Maxi, and then Josh Green in with Kai and Luca. What about that group tonight? Do you think was so effective on both sides of the floor? Yeah, I thought they were great. From it was carryover from Game Three. I thought the energy group there that ended uh, in Game Three, that fourth quarter. I thought that group energy and pace on both ends defensively. We got stops, and then offensively we got you know into the paint uh, where we could capitalize. Um, but I thought Josh's energy has been great. Um, the defense again in this series has been really good. It's just for us, you know, when it comes down to not making a mistake at the you know wrong time, and tonight we didn't do that. We capitalized on their mistakes. Front row, Tim. Tim McNanny, ESPN. Uh, you know, Luca vowed that he wasn't going to be distracted by discussions with the officials uh, and followed through on that a lot like he did game five in o versus OKC. Uh, how do you think his demeanor and his focus set a tone? I thought it was great. Um, it's he was Luca. I mean, he's been Luca. He's he wasn't anybody different tonight. There was not a different Luca out there. It was Luca? He played at a high level. He was great. He's been great. He's one of the best players in the world. And uh, I, as much as we want to criticize, he he's he's a hell of a player. All the way in the back, Tim. Jason, Tim Reynolds with the AP. You, you said before the game. Somebody was either going to make a stand or somebody was going to let go of the rope. Was there something you saw early that suggested that your guys had a stand in them tonight? He had a score. It's, it's real simple. We don't have to complicate this. This isn't, you know, surgery. Our group was ready to go. They, they were ready to celebrate and, uh, and understand we, we made a stand. We were desperate. And, uh, and we got to continue to keep playing that way. Um, understand they, they're trying to find the, to close the door. The hardest thing in this league is to close the door um, when you have a group that has nothing to lose. And so tonight you saw that. And uh, they let go of the rope, uh, you know, pretty early. But Brad in the middle. Jason, uh, Brad Towns of Dallas Morning News. You mentioned Lively showing his range. I believe he'd only tried two threes this year. Did. Is that actually something you drew up for him? Uh, he didn't show any hesitation. No, he was in the right spot. He took it from there. Um, he he could shoot, and that's the that's the next step for his development, is being able to shoot the three. Uh, as a he's young, but 
uh, as a 20 year old, he's grown up in the AAU circuit where he can't in high school, he can shoot, he can handle. Uh, he would tell you he played point guard. So um, his ability to be able to bring the ball and being able to shoot the three is, is the next step for, for him. Um, he has all the, all the skill set, but right now for what the role we need him to do is do what he did tonight, offensive rebound, change shots, and be able to guard. And then uh, when, you, when you look at your, you mentioned the bench players, uh, I thought when Exum came in and hit those early shots, it was a big lift for you. What kind of psychological lift does that give the team when guys come off the bench and start making shots like that? Yeah, it, that's who we've been all season. Exum has played you know, at a high level for us all season. He's been able to uh, run the offense. He stepped up and made big shots for us to win. And then I thought tonight, even the one that he shot from out of bounds, that they, you know, he made it. That could easily have changed his confidence, but I thought his, he was aggressive uh, you know, while he was out on the floor, and he was great, and we're going to need that on the road. Dorothy here in the middle. Can you talk a little bit about the balanced scoring effort uh, from your team? I think first half, all nine players, everybody scored. So talk about the balanced scoring effort tonight. Yeah, I, again, when you're desperate, you know, the ball starts to move. Um, guys have are not, you know, overthinking it. And I, again, being able to make some threes tonight from our role players were, were huge. When you talk about uh, D Jones, Exum, and then D Live, uh, you know, just understanding that's who we've been all season. We we can shoot with the best of them, and tonight we displayed that. Dave here on the left. Jason, Dave McMahon with ESPN. How did uh, like desperation and urgency factor into your guys' overall performance tonight, especially defensively with three steals from Luca, chasing down, you know, intercepting steal after missing a long shot? And how do you carry that over to Boston? Yeah, I think, um, again, um, we, we have uh, nothing to lose going to Boston. Uh, that mindset of being aggressive. Um, and then to answer the first part of your question, Luca, um, as we know, can play defense. And uh, you saw that tonight, um, some of the criticism that he's had, you know, here uh, of late, um, you know, for whatever reason, um, talked about his defense. And I think he stepped up and was there. And he knows in Boston he's going to be right back where, you know, in the pick and roll. And so he's going to have to compete and, and play defense again. Last question here on the left. Right here, Coach Jason. Thank you for your time. Valencia King, Real Talk Sports out of Dallas. Of course, you're getting a lot of questions about Lively, and rightfully so, but we also got a chance to see Omax tonight. How would you describe his road and being ready for the moment during the finals? Yeah, I, I thought everybody who participated today was uh, ready, and, uh, and I thought Omax, as a rookie, uh, coming off injury, I thought he did a good job um, getting his first minutes in the finals. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.